It was that special Sunday, one that I can never forget. She came to me like a quiet whisper, floating into my open ears. She said, you've asked for me for so long now, so I've made my way to you. Grab a chair and be sure to listen. I reckon this might take some time. I looked all around the room, perplexed. I was searching for this beautiful voice. You're not going to see me, girl. In fact, that was your very own choice. So your ears better be open, since you hear better than you see. Oh dear, this is going to take a while. But what I must tell you is vital. So lend me your ears, dear child. Grab a pen and a paper. Are you ready? Here we go. I thought to myself for a second, this can't be normal. I can hear my own thoughts, but I'm not the only one here. There's another speaking with me. Don't get us mixed up now, dear. There's your intuition and there's me. I couldn't believe my ears. I thought no one's ever going to believe this. I put my pen to the paper and I I scribbled a few lines. She was patient with me and very gentle, but hard and stern at times. There was this spiritual maturity about her with a radiance of pure light. And she sounded very familiar, like I've known her my entire life. Whenever you need me, she said, I'll show you what to do. I stand with you always, and I'm never out of your sight. She said, close your eyes and feel the love that surrounds you even now. Now send it out like a ball of light. Let it flow out of you. Let it reach every corner of the world. You are a light being deep down inside. You know what to do to find your way home. You need to reach deeper way deeper into that light and it will surely guide you. You are never alone. Ask for support and ask for our help on faithfulness and trust and we will give it to you. She said we and I wondered what? There's more of you? I know what you're thinking and yes there's definitely more. Each of you has at least one, sometimes two or three or four. Now can you focus on this, as I still have much to say. You are excluded from that pain and suffering that is sure to come to pass. But only if you so choose to learn those lessons which I came to teach today. There's nothing to worry about, my girl. How many times have I whispered that? No fears, no airs, no worries. They only sit on your shoulders and make you heavy. You are of the light. You must now serve the light. You know who you are. You are a child of the light. Now is the time to long for that light and leave it to the fullest, host upon host. We're here cheering you on and we will always be with you till you find your way back home. As the voice faded away, I wondered if I was dreaming. I pinched myself a few times and the pain confirmed I was in my body But this experience was so profound, like nothing I've ever had. 
It was that special Sunday. Like I said, I'll never forget. The purple woman's guide that whispered in her ears, confirming to her that indeed she was always and truly there. That was really a shock. But nothing shocks me more than the simple fact that all those years my ears really were.